Okay, so it is about 8.45 a.m. on a Saturday morning and it is absolutely gorgeous out. Uh, normally, we'd be just outside having fun on this beautiful day, but uh, because it's 57 degrees out right now and the trees are budding, you can see it on this crab apple here. Leaves, see? Leaves. So, that means that we have to spray for fire blight today so that we don't get anything in there this early in the season. So I'm tired, but uh, we're gonna go across the street to meet up with my dad and uh, see what he's got for us today. Um, yeah, so click like and subscribe. Uh, we do videos every other Tuesday um, and see how this goes. <sighs> gallons of water in it and then we'll spray that out to clear out and flush out the game. So this is called a, a recreational vehicle uh, antifreeze. It's a non-toxic uh, material. See the pink? The pink is the anti, uh, color from the antifreeze. You can smell it too. Pump has a, the tank has an agitator in it to stir it up so the, uh, the spray material stays mixed with the water. Uh, this is all driven by the power takeoff on the tractor. So this turns both the agitator and the pump. Yeah, let's turn that on now. how much uh, material is in the tank. 10, 15, 20 gallons, it's a 50 gallon tank. Uh, we should replace this uh, one of these days because it's hard to see the volume in here. Right now the volume is, is very little in here. But we're gonna put 20, between 20 and 25 gallons of water in this tank. First we'll start by putting in about 12 and a half gallons. And then we'll add our spray material. We're spraying copper for fire blight. Uh, we'll let that mix in and then we'll add the rest of the water. So this is the copper mix.
this whole region, the orchards all over this region are being uh, hit with fire blight, uh, which is a bacterial infection that does uh, really serious damage. Uh, our friends over at Hackleboro Orchard had to pull out some 60 trees because they were so severely hit. Uh, different cultivars are more susceptible than others. Um, the quince is especially susceptible. Next to that is the pear, and then the apples are a little bit, uh, a little bit more resistant. And some varieties are quite resistant. But uh, so we started by uh, spraying pears and quince and apple, and then also we're using uh, copper. This is wettable copper called Champ. Uh, is the is the trade name of this product. Uh, and the regime is that we have to split spray every five days until uh, until after bloom, uh, and then uh, through the summer every uh, every couple of weeks a, a lighter application. Uh, so we got hit really hard with fire fire blight last year. So we're trying to get it under control. Once it's uh, once it's around, you really got to knock it back in order to uh, prevent further damage to your trees. It's not. It doesn't, the bad thing about it, it doesn't just damage this year's fruit. It, uh, it damages the tree and it can actually kill the tree. I mean, you see the, some of the stumps that are there that are trees that we just had to uh, cut off and we'll rip them out and replace them. As soon as our ne new trees come in from Cummins Nursery, we're expecting them any day now. We ordered 12 new trees. Uh, so copper is a relatively mild uh, 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 chemical for it, it, probably the closest to being an organic uh, treatment that uh, we can have without you know without going to the heavy duty fungicides, pesticides, biocides. It's a tractor. Well, thanks for joining us on this beautiful Saturday morning. Um, we do videos like this every other Tuesday. Uh, keep up with us as, you know, we maintain the orchard this year. Um, it's gonna be a pretty exciting summer, so hopefully we'll have a lot of good stuff for you coming up. Uh, remember to click like and subscribe and share this with your buddies if uh, you think they'd be interested in it. Thanks for watching, bye.